Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Neuron Films. Today we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add a, a title to a background. Let's go ahead and open up iMovie and uh, show you guys re this right away. We'll go straight into my projects here, my project, uh, my tutorial project, open it up and uh, right here at the very top we have our uh, audio titles, backgrounds, transitions. Go ahead and click on backgrounds. This is where you'll find your basic backgrounds and if you scroll over them, you'll see some of their effects, what they do. I don't know why um, Apple wanted to put in all these uh, geography type of ones, I, but if you scroll down, you'll be able to find other additional ones and you can also create some of your own if you're interested through Motion 5. And that's a whole other application, which I have tutorials on as well. But I'm going to go ahead and choose this underwater um, background. And I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it straight into my project. It automatically adjusts it to four seconds. But you can make it uh, either shorter or a lot longer by grabbing the edge, the end of the actual clip. So I'm going to make mine five seconds. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our titles. Just next to the backgrounds at the very top, titles. And uh, you, you have several titles here, and you can see their effect as well. All you have to do is scroll over them. Once my Mac here, once my Mac here <laughs> loads up, but here you are, um, you'll be able to scroll over them and see them just like this. I'm gonna just choose the standard one, just like this, fades in and fades out. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop it right on top of my actual background. Now, uh, keep in mind, you can import your own backgrounds. You can simply drag and drop images just like this. I'm grabbing an image from my desktop and dragging it straight in, and there you have it. And it might put in a little uh, fade-in effect just like this on it, or a little glide effect that you didn't want originally. It's called Ken Burns, and you can remove that by just hitting Fit, this little crop button, hit Fit, and then hit Enter. I mean, hit the little checkbox to apply it, and now you'll notice the image is just still. But I'm going to remove this because we're focusing on this title here with this background. So we have a four second title. We're actually just going to make it five seconds and have it match the actual background. Um, uh, double clicking on the title, we can go ahead and edit the title. And I'm going to remove the top bar, remove the bottom bar. And the only thing I'm going to put in is something here in the middle. And we'll just say, hey, there. Just like that. And uh, you can also adjust this if you hit enter. Um, you can add spaces and you can add it and move that title wherever you please just like this You can move it lower or you can even move it um, Higher area, but unfortunately iMovie does not give you the option to actually move the text around and where you want it So you just got to add your spaces as you please and move, do it everything in that way in order to get the text where you want it That's one big limitation that I found within iMovie but there you have it. You can uh, choose any one of these texts and you can choose any image as your background. You don't have to use the backgrounds that are provided by a movie. And the, the text here, and that, that's basically it. And that's the basics of putting text on a background. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below and later. So let my life be the proof.